lovies welcome back to my channel today i have a thrift haul for you guys so i have been thrifting because i want to remake or refresh really it should be a refresh my bedroom for summer i have always had those like dream catchers and such in my bedroom for such a long time I still want to keep the bright whites, like the neutrals, but I love teal. No matter how much I try to like <laughs> verge away, I was thinking about doing blue. And then when I was looking at all the blue stuff, I'm just like, I don't like blue. I like my teal, my teal green color. So I just stuck with it. But I still am in love with boho. I have, my home is really like a boho vibe. And I was trying to like, like pinpoint what exactly I like and I think it's like um I don't know what you want to call it like a vintage boho maybe because I love older looking things like vintage looking things but I like the boho vibe with it if that makes any sense whatsoever so I wanted to go for like a vintage boho vibe so I thought thrifting and yard selling would probably be the best way to do that I'm going to be hitting some yard sales today, so I might be adding to this, but I want to show you guys so far um, what I picked up from the Goodwill yesterday. It was the first, and I made sure that I was there as soon as the store opened at 9 o'clock, and I'm telling you guys, I could have dropped a couple hundred dollars there, because usually, like, Goodwill is one of those places where it's like a hit or miss, you know what I mean? And... So I've been going and like, ugh, it's like the same stuff. You don't, you don't find anything. And then the one time you do go, everything is there. So my cart was packed full and I had to pick and choose like what I was gonna, like my favorite pieces. I couldn't buy everything, even though I wanted to. <laughs> so I'm going to show you today the few little things that I picked up to do a bedroom summer. How would I put it? A summer bedroom refresh, I guess is the best way to put that. So let's do it. So of course, when I saw this, <laughs> I was like, nothing screams boa more than this. Listen, guys, if they would have had more pieces of something like this, I'd have bought every single one. I don't care how much they were. But this kind of stuff, like at, um, what's a good Hobby Lobby? Hobby Lobby has like a whole section of this stuff. It's so expensive. The little hearts that are like, um, what is this, like uh, macaray? I think that's how you say No, it's not the macarena, Missy. How do you say this? You know, when I want to say words, I can't think of words. <laughs> they come to me later, but you know what I'm talking about. This stuff is so expensive. My little hearts that are in my bedroom were like $10 a piece, and they're little. I'll put a little clip right here of them. Those were $10 a piece. So when I saw this, this was $4.99. I was like, I was searching everywhere for more. And I'm not exact, I really like it like this, but these, these little pieces can come to the front. They can come up here, but I don't think I like that because it kind of covers up the knot right here. I mean, they can come up here, I don't know, you guys tell me, do you like it like that? Or do you like these little pieces in the back? I think that's how I like it because I like this little like knot here. I don't know, you guys let me know. But when I saw this, I was like, there's nothing more boho than that. This next piece is not for my bedroom. They had two beautiful horse pieces and I've been looking for horse pieces at Hobby Lobby. They're so expensive. I have a beautiful horse picture in my living room. I'll insert a clip right here. And I love that horse picture. It is from Hobby Lobby. I got it for Christmas one year. And I always want like a horse, like something to go with it. So I'm going to remake the shelf that's beside it. I'm going to take that make room. I don't think that greenery thing goes. I'm going to take that down. I might actually use that in my bedroom. Not sure. But I'm going to take that down. So when I found this, now I know this is a bookend, but they didn't have the other bookend. But I still liked it a lot. And it was only... 
I don't know if I can show you or not. $3.99. The other piece that they had there was like a, a horse bust, I guess is the best way I can put it. Like a horse bust. It was just like a head of a horse. It was the same material, but I didn't care for it. I looked everywhere for the other half of this. Could not find it because if I could have found the set, I definitely would have bought them both. But even though it's a bookend, I feel like if I place it this way, even if I do it side, I think I still can do something really cool with this. So I really, really liked this piece for my living room. It's not for my bedroom, but it is part of the haul because I loved it so. This next piece, I was tickled pink. <laughs> I love this piece. So this, I don't know which way it goes. Okay, it goes this way. This. In that beautiful teal color, I love this. And I was even, the only thing I hate is why they put the freaking stickers on the ground. <laughs> Sorry about my growling. I hate when I do that. But anyways, I even love these pieces. I might fix this and leave those and just fill these pieces. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But I absolutely adore this piece. And it looks very vintage. It's like dusted with gold, which makes it look, you know, antiqued almost but it has that beautiful teal oh, i love this piece and then a this was 3.99 let me just show you at least goodwill knew enough to put the price back here but wherever they sold this they put the sticker there why did they do that but anyways i loved this piece and then a couple shelves down i found this piece is that not adorable so when I saw them together, I was like, oh my God, these are so cute together. So this was going to go in my bedroom. This is definitely a bedroom piece. But when I saw this little bucket, I kept looking at it because I love this. I want to style this somehow, like either below this or maybe get a shelf for it. I'm not sure yet. But when I was looking at this, I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do with it, but it didn't have no price or anything on it. And when I was looking at it, I was like, you know, this would be really cute as a planter because if you are at all familiar with my channel, if you've been here for a while, hi lovies, if you're brand new to my channel because you just joined because you wanted to see the thrift haul, hello, I'm so glad you're here. I love plants. I'm obsessed. I am definitely a plant mama. I have plants everywhere. <laughs> I was thinking this would be a really cute planter. And when I was walking down the aisle, I saw this. This looked brand spanking new. This was, I don't this is $2.99 and there's a whole bunch of stuff underneath it. So I actually wanted to peel it off and see what it actually says because I can see somebody wrote on it. But it, it, you could tell somebody kind of burnt it, but it still looks brand new and it looked very vintage to me. So I, it was $2.99. The, the little thing in here says Interior Motives Ink. And then it has like someone's handwriting underneath of it. Let me see if I can't peel this up because I would love to see what the handwriting says because I I love like that stuff. Let's see if I can't get it up. Oh, wow. This was $28. Wow. Okay, hold on. Okay. So it says Northern Light. This was made three... 2008 it looks like a Zimbali 4x4 terracotta and it says $28 so I don't know what all that means I don't know if this was handmade by somebody can you see that and it says $28 right there so I don't know where this candle came from but if this was a $28 candle and I got it for $2.99 that's a great deal so when I found it, I was like, hmm. So I put it in here like that. <laughs> so and it just peeks above it. So I thought that'd be so cute. So I got it as a candle holder. And I just feel like, because this has like a goldy color, like it's like antiqued with gold. I feel like that candle kind of picks that color up. So I just feel like these two pieces are absolutely stunning together, at least in my humble opinion. Then I picked this up and I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to use this yet, but I definitely, when I saw it, thought planter because I, again, obsessed with plants and I'm always looking for cheap planters. 
because when you go into nurseries, planters are so stinking expensive. If anybody else is a plant mama out there, plant daddy, whatever, can anybody relate? Like something like this is like $25. So it was $2.99 and it's actually an edible arrangement. Ceramic. Can you guys see that? Edible. You can just barely see it. Edible arrangement. So for $2.99, this is an adorable plant. This is what I'm thinking, a plant is going to sit in here but we'll see when I decorate but I love the white because my room is going to be very white and you know it's very neutral but I'm going to throw in with this teal so I picked that up then I saw this. I just love this so this is kind of where the you know I don't know like I don't know what this is called but to me this is like boho I don't know this might have another name but I love that look and I love the bird and I just think that that is so beautiful like I just think that's a beautiful piece and I thought these two pieces kind of would look pretty together because this brown picks up that brown in like the birdhouse and the bird so I really thought these two pieces somehow could like be incorporated with each other somehow some way I really liked these two together so I love that and then these next two pieces I could swear there's probably three of these. I looked everywhere for the third piece because these these sayings usually go together. But I loved the that teal color. That 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 teal color, you know, just picks up that color. And again, it has some of that brown in it. I like the teal and the brown. So this one says hope. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's kind of like a picture. Like I can stick my finger in between the frame and the picture and it's a canvas. So I really, really like that. And it has that same, I don't know what that's called, like that vintage look with the, it looks like it's been stamped, you know, has that same, but it's like that off-white, I don't know. I just really, really liked it. So this one says hope, love the butterfly. I just think this is absolutely beautiful. And then the other one that I did find says love. And usually when they have these together, it's usually like hope, love, peace, hope, love, laugh, hope, love, live. Usually there's like a third saying. I looked everywhere for the third of this. There, I wasn't anywhere. I mean, I moved everything. I must have stood there for 25 minutes looking for the third one because if I could find the third one, I would have bought it because three of these would be really cute together. I probably would do like a stacking set. I thought this was super cute. These were $4.99 a piece, which I didn't think was too bad. I don't know, you guys let me know down in the comments. I didn't think that was too bad for that. So in essence, I paid $10, I guess, for the two. I, I don't know, do you think that's a bad price? I didn't think it was too bad. If they were $2.99, that'd have been better, but you know, Goodwill's prices sometimes are ridiculous. But I absolutely loved the colors. I think that's gonna be really, really cute in the room. And I love how it picks up that brown. So I got that as well. Then I also picked up this because I needed new bed pillows and I absolutely love this. This was $4.99, it looks brand spanking new. So you have that beautiful white and then the pops of teal. And I think this is gonna look beautiful with my duvet because my duvet is that crisp white color. I just think that pillow is really gonna brighten up my bed. So I picked this up. And then the last piece that I picked up was this. How boho can you get? Like I thought this was absolutely beautiful. This piece was $5.99. I love the vase because it's that off white color. So it's gonna look great with the pictures that I just showed you. It has like the little wisps in it. I love these things, these like little clear things, these little balls, the pops of green. The only thing that I thought was a little damaged on it is whatever the heck this thing is, but I can pluck this off and I might go pick up some wisps. I call them wisps. They look like big feather dusters. I think they have a name, but can I remember that name today? No. Names have just totally escaped my brain. I can't rethink of any names. I call them feather dusters. They look like huge feather dusters. So I might take this one out because he's kind of you know, it's not looking the best and might add a little bit of extra to it. But even if I don't, just this alone is beautiful. I think that is so boho and so pretty. 
So those are the things that I picked up for my bedroom minus the horse piece that I'm gonna be putting in my living room. And while we were also there, my daughter would like me to show you her shirts that she picked up because she is a graphic tee nut. She loves her graphic tees. So she's obsessed with Stitch. So this is actually from Disney. As you can see, this is actually a Disney shirt. And she caught this shirt, look how cute, with her Stitch. This was $4.99. It's really soft too. So she absolutely loved that. She loves her graphic tees. She, the new Spider-Man stuff's coming out, so. Spider Gwen. Oh, this is the girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the girl Spider, Spider Gwen. So all this stuff, I, I don't understand these universes, but she does. <laughs> she loves anime. So I have no idea who this guy is. Oh, that, this shirt, the Spider-Man shirt, the Spider-Gwen shirt was $3.99. And it's from Funko. And it's from Funko, like Funko Pops. Marvel, so that's a nice shirt. And then this one was $3.99. This is like, you know, the same thing. She likes anime, I don't know who this dude is, but. It's from My Hero Academia. Whatever, <laughs> she liked it. So she got that graphic tee. And then, of of late, I don't know why, but she has become obsessed with Star Wars. Out of the blue, out of nowhere. So when she found this shirt, she had to have it. Is this a real Star Wars shirt? We'll see. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a legit Star Wars shirt. That's awesome to find that kind of stuff. Graphic tee, this one was $3.99. And we have <laughs> Chewbacca. <laughs> Chewbacca, words of wisdom. <laughs> so I thought that was really funny. So I thought those were really, really cute. And I love that they're all name brands. They're not like this off-brand shirt for the graphic tees. This is, you know, this is probably a very old shirt if you want to think about it. I wish they dated shirts. I don't know if they do do that or not. Let me see real quick. But like, I think, I can't see it, it's so worn out. But it's probably an older shirt, you know, like when Star Wars first came out kind of thing, you know what I mean? So, but I love when they do that, when the graphic tees aren't just like this they're just like this generic brand. They actually like are Disney or they're the Star Wars brand. So to find those kinds of shirts at the Goodwill is actually a very cool thing. I to share her graphic tee scores from the Goodwill because she's obsessed with all of her graphic tees. Is this even from Spider-Man? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Funko, Marvel, yep, mm -hmm. see? Name brand, that's a very good thing to get from the goodwill. The thing is that her name is actually not Spider Gwen, it's Ghost Spider. Whatever. And it's like they said this is from Disney. So that's awesome. So there's her graphic tees. So that is our fun day. Oh, oh, I forgot. I got one more piece. So if you guys have been with me for a while, you know, I've been complaining about my desk chair because it's broke. When I was there, I found this beauty. Look how beautiful she is. She's a high back vintage chair. And the best part I loved about her is because I'm trying to add more plants to my office is that she's this beautiful green color with this like royal gold going through her. I thought this chair was absolutely beautiful, high backed. It looks great at my desk and I got that chair. And when I picked it up, I don't have the tag for it because I had to give them the tag, but it said vintage 1972. So that chair is from 1972. So I loved that chair. So that completes my vintage boho graffiti Beal. fun day. <laughs> that is my Goodwill haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be looking for the video. I should have it out over the weekend or Monday at the latest for my summer bedroom refresh. We're gonna be getting that done. And I'll be talking to you guys very soon in another video. Until then, take care of you. No, I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great beginning to the summer, and I'll be talking to you guys very soon. Bye.